Alright, that should be it. That should be our part made. There's some deburring. So that should be now 510,000. So it's come to the time I'm going to make a start on these two um, jaws for the knurls and I've marked out roughly on there which is where the um, radius will be and, and the cut back on there and across there and then there's a hole here which I've marked using the mics and scratching but obviously they won't do it on the DRO properly um, this one is a, I believe a 7 16 ream through hole that carries a bush and the other one is smaller that's only a 5 16 ream through so I'm going to run through with a 5 16 drill on that one and then where the knurling wheels go, which is this end, there, I've marked them off. And I'm going to drill them through, I believe they're quarter reamed. And then probably use a, an M5 screw uh, on both of these, or maybe a 6 on that, I don't know. But I'm going to bolt these two together, because I want to machine them together as a pair and once they're bolted together they can stay together um, this radius and this cutback will be done in the vise on the miller machine but the fingers have got the shapes to have which as we know uh, those shapes have got to be cut out so I'll do that on rotary table I did suss out this uh, oddball which I was on about here um, where are we? there um, and it's me I'm an idiot basically what it's saying is is that that marker there is for the radius of this that's its fulcrum point there you've got a pair of compasses there and you struck them round that's where you'd get and then this marker is for this inside one which is on a, a three quarter radius the, the outside one's one and a half inch so yeah th that's what I want to do is clamp them together with that bolt and that bolt through that's not going to be f finally drilled I'm just going to drill the hole that size through and bolt them together try and get it so that I can still get to machine this and machine this radius so I'll do that in the miller machine on a vise and then that radius and these two and this final one they'll all be done on the rotary table because I can mark that up so that's what we're on with cheap things but they seem to do okay they come in one of them sets you know like in a, in a tin box with everything from one mil up to ten I think there's about ten maybe on smaller drills and there's about twenty of each These are the new drills, the Imperial drills from Kronos and you know they're very sharp seem really good, I'll see how long they last I'll say I'll only use them when I have to because it's the only set I've got, I think we're a 29 piece set Ah! Just spotted a problem That's come loose 
Always a problem when you're gripping two parallel parts that's the same size is that one of them can grip better than the other. And that did move, I saw it. Right, I'm going to stop this and work away out. Maybe I have to put some uh, two bits of aluminium welding rod top and bottom to nip them. That might be what I'll need to do. some bits of alloy wire that I was using when I did my uh, anodizing. I'll try that. It's got to cover both pieces. Still lined up. At uh, 0 0.3974 each way. Right, that should have got them. Try again. success this time a little learning curve innit but yeah a piece of soft metal if you've two pieces like this one above the other um, I should have done it before I even started I should have done that spent my time setting vice up so back jaw were uh, running through with bed and then I did tighten it up really tight and I did top it around and it appeared to be tight but obviously it wasn't so, lesson learned. Okay, I'm going to get my, uh, where are we? I'm going to get the edge finder again and put that back in and find the edge of this, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, of that and that and then do my maths again to get me centre of the hole. Takes me a while, it's all an imperial. Uh, just a little test actually, this might not be included in the video, um, I've just plugged my dead cat in. Um, this camera I'm using, because I was having trouble with my GoPro, um, is one I bought to go on holiday with, it's a, a beautiful camera. It's the um, Sony RX100 uh, Mark 7 uh, and it's a smashing little camera but I'm still getting my head around all controls. Uh, and the video I've just done was all using the microphone that's built in so I've plugged an external one in which I've got a little fluffy dead cat on if you all know what one of them is on a camera and uh, I'm just trying that out to see if it's any better Right In fact, I'll do a clap Start in line Okay, so I've worked it out what I need to offset see that so from uh, from the, the line of the body to the center of that hole I've got as 0.70325 and how I've come to that conclusion is 5 eighths of an inch equals 6250 plus 0.07825 now 07825 is half of four millimeters in Imperial so I add that and that together and I came up with 0.70325 so that's what I need to get on that DRO that figure there and to that one so there we go Of 
seven. Oh. Three. Am I gonna get it? No. These DROs are good, but they're not that good. <laughs> I'm going to go under as a boat instead of over. Come on. That's the nearest I can get. 70315. Can't get 70325 because it goes on to the next increment. So that's the best I can do, but that's pretty accurate, isn't it? 703,000. 0.15 of a thou. Right. So that's that set up. So technically now, if I put my light back on, I should be right over the hole. And it looks like I am. There's only one way to prove it, isn't there? And that's to spot it. Sorry, I've got my arm in way, haven't I? And it's bang on my cross marks. So yes, it's correct. So that needs drilling, but it's only got to be a quarter. So I'm just going to spot it. And then uh, that can come out. But again, I don't want to start moving X and Y. So the best thing to do is just wipe knee down. this hole for the I've then got my two fixings to bolt the thing together so I'll knock off at that because I've, I've showed you um, how I've come about that hole and where it is and I've done a description using the little GoPro which is now working again strangely I think it had overheated when it was charging it was hot so I wish I'll knock that off and knock this off and I'll come back when the all the together ready to go. Yes, yeah, so we've uh, got those two successfully bolted together, nipped them down nice and tight. There's some cheapy little T bolts I got from somewhere, um, M6. So that that's a way ready to machine, and I think I've got clearance there. Uh, I, I am not going to take this out yet because I've still got what I was on about before this radius here. I don't believe I need to rotate it to do it. I have got a cutter that's probably going to do it but I'm just a bit worried it's going to be a bit um, growly for this uh, for this milling machine. Uh, that's a three quarter Clarkson, put it in its holder. Um, and we're hoping that we can just go in and keep shaving along and if I set a stop on the uh, X so I can't possibly go any further than where my radius ends or begins then I should be okay and just do it real gentle plenty of lube on it so that's the uh, next job to mount that back in there set it all up, set a stop on my X they've quite good stops on here and big steel blocks so I uh, I won't show it because it's a stop the other thing I was going to show is that's the bit of uh, TIG wire I put in I don't know if you can see on there but how it's flattened it which is how it does it it, it, it flattens and compensates to each piece which is what it did down there okay Right, enough for that. Clarkson cutter. Clarkson tool holder. The MT2 one with the damper ring on. I've shown this before. I'll do it again. Right, so I'll keep 
keep that away like that and nip this up yeah can you up there okay that's nipped up once you've nipped that up you know get that again and you bring the ring down or up you take the ring up until and it's left hand thread till it hits the underneath of the MT2 take that away uh, the quill and snug it up like that a lot of people struggle to get them back out but I've not had any problems as per yet then you take the collet holder out and then you've got to take that bit out I believe well it is anyway because it's an oversized one that's the largest collet I've got holder right bob that in there and wind the bit back in loosely screw that up this is where there's two schools of thought some say that the instruction book's incorrect how I do it and I'm not had any trouble but this is how I do it and I'm not going to change I leave that slack I wind the cutter in now the cutter is touching the hardened steel pin in the top and then get the spanner nip it up that's how I do it if it's wrong it's wrong but it works I've never never had a problem with it and I've used it quite a lot because it's a very very stable and rigid setup um, I'm not saying this ER25 I've got call it isn't any any less of a uh, a beast but you can't knock these they're just that old and I suppose in industry they still use a similar sort of idea but you can pick these up fairly cheap now because not many people use them so my next job is I need to know half the size of that cutter well that's easy because it's three eighths of an inch because it's three quarter cutter I'll double check it make sure it hasn't been re ground at some time or other and then I'm going to do my calculations so that I don't plunge in too far or too far that way and set my stop up I just thought I'd show putting that in because a lot of people do ask questions about them say is that what hard work that uh, three quarter probably a bit big for my milling machine it was I could feel the machine vibrating and, it, and I were climb cutting unfortunately uh, just to show that that's the packings I used underneath it sacrificial some of that would scrap that it doesn't matter if it ruins it and it has it sacrificed it so there you go um, that's the shape and I've measured it everything's correct so we, we, we're on um, form for what we're doing so that's probably the only thing that can be done in the vice all the rest of it's got to be done on rotary table so that'll be the next job will be to set that up on the rotary table but yeah happy with that bit we'll move on what is it? Onwards and upwards is it? 